Hello Internet! Today we are going to discuss about an interesting application of EMFs in biology, optogenetics. Optogenetics is a method to control neurons using light. Our brain is a brilliant computer. It is made up of billions of neurons. It is the most complex network known to us. Each neuron in the network gathers input from thousands of its upstream partners, then computes its own response and if it crosses a certain threshold, this information is relayed to thousands of its downstream partners. Specific types of neurons serve specific functions. A fundamental question in neurobiology is to figure out the function of different regions and types of neurons in the brain. Since brain is such a complex network, so how can we actually study it? A very simple answer would be, if we can control a particular neuron and switch it on and off, then we can study the effect it causes by observing the brain responses. Similarly, we can also target a particular information to a particular part of the brain and study its behavior. But this is a very difficult task to achieve without disturbing the normal functioning of the brain. The idea is to be able to control specific neurons using light. Many molecules exist in nature that are able to convert light into electricity. If you can install one of these on specific neurons, then they can be turned on or off using light. Green algae swim towards light. They are able to do so using a special type of protein called channel dopsin, which is a type of light getter ion channel. This protein has a light sensitive channel. When blue light falls, the channel opens and ions enter into the cell, causing a small current which can be detected by the cell. To install this protein into the neuron, the section of DNA that codes for this protein is identified and then inserted into the DNA of the neuron using techniques of genetic engineering. After this is done, the protein expresses itself on the neuron surface and we have a light sensitive neuron which can be excited or inhibited using light stimulus. So now, what's the importance of controlling the neurons? It has myriad revolutionary applications in the field of science and technology. Brain has always been an enigma. So, by controlling the specific neurons, we can actually identify the basic functioning of our complex brain. By this optical neural control therapy, we can shine light through optical fibers and find out specific causes of many mental disorders. Many a times it happens that a particular part of the brain gets damaged, due to which the whole functioning of our brain gets disrupted. Through this control mechanism, we can shine light and turn off that specific damaged part to restore the normal functioning of our brain. Another very important application is that it can be a possible cure for blindness. Normal human eye has photoreceptors which respond to light stimuli. But a blind person lacks these photoreceptors due to which even though the light enters their eyes, they cannot respond to it. So, we can implant the light sensitive proteins channel rhodopsin into their eye and thus the blind person can get his vision back. This technique has been successfully experimented upon mice with positive results. Optogenetics has been a very hot topic of research in recent years. In 2010, optogenetics was chosen as the method of the year across all fields of science and engineering by the general nature. At the same time, optogenetics was highlighted in the article on breakthroughs of the decade in general science.